Hey guys, Dr. Steve here. Welcome to The Connected Life. We are going to talk today about a case study of a gentleman that came in uh, with chronic pain, anxiety, and depression, and how he's making progress. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going on in his body uh, system so that you can see what progress actually looks like in that area. So just stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. So um, when this gentleman came in, anxiety, depression, feeling overwhelmed, uh, incapable of not doing much, indecisive. I don't know if you've ever been there, but I think we've all been there to some degree. And I want to show you when someone's in that state, what something looks like, what their heart rate variability looks like. And I'll explain heart rate variability again in just a moment. But if you just look at this particular patterning, heart rate variability is the, uh, it's an inner uh, snapshot of your stress and ease patterns or your stress relax patterns. So you can kind of think of those two things, building up stress and relaxing out of the stress. And it gives a really good representation of um, how you're moving between those two points about getting stressed and then relaxing. And so HRV is a great um, uh, scientific way, a method to measure uh, how your stress relax system is doing. And it's called coherence. So if you look at the board here, uh, stress patterns, when we're in a more of a stressful state pattern, we also have more of this kind of jumpiness in your heart rate variability and your um, heart rhythms. And then when you're more in an inner harmony state, your rhythm starts to take on a natural, more natural wave type process. So this is kind of that stress relax patterns that we're looking at, again, called HRV. So when we look at this gentleman that came in initially with pain and anxiety and depression, feeling overwhelmed and uh, being indecisive, you can take a look at what his stress relax patterns are and how choppy, we'll call them choppy, how choppy and tight and small they are. Okay, his normalized coherence here, which is that rhythm or inner harmony percentage is 46% and his total power in his nervous system 269. So the guy's struggling, no doubt about it. Okay. Now, when we, uh, we've done 12 visits with him and now we can start to see some of the changes that are occurring in his HRV. Okay. We can see that his rhythm is picking up. It's much more balanced and harmonious in there. Um, they, those rhythms and those waves have become much more alive. His coherence now is at 67, so it went up over 20% uh, coherence, and uh, his total power is at 824, where we started out, I believe it was two something. So we can see the transition that he's making. He's, it's not ideal yet, but he's making a nice transition between this original stress pattern, where the, the balance was uh, in the low 40s, and now in he's moving towards, he's in the 60s, in terms of his inner harmony. Well, then what's come of that since? So as you're seeing changes in, his, in the feedback of his body, because that's what heart rate variability is, a biofeedback test. Um, so here's what he has. Less anxiety, better posture, confidence in the future, less neck and shoulder pain, more confident that I'm moving in the right direction and deeper breathing. So that's what he's internally, subjectively experiencing. And objectively, his body's made a nice transition between being stressed, overwhelmed, indecisive, okay, anxious and depressed, and then he moves to greater degrees of confidence, better posture, feeling like he's moving in the right direction, less anxiety, and that reporting back is what's showing in the HRV. So you can see how the subjective experience and the objective testing helps us to come together to make sure that we're creating good plans for people and that we're making progress. This is the way that you work a healthy nervous system. It's the way that you work with people in their health to ensure that they're building good health. Health is very little on basically what you're feeling inside, but we, but if we can take both what you're feeling and put some objective measurements to it, you're getting really good care because you're able to document how you're making improvements, both in how you're feeling and how the body's actually working. Um, and so it's kind of like a nice foolproof plan to, to make sure that you know that you're making good solid improvements and your body's gonna create sustainable changes over time. So um, yeah, just wanted to share that uh, case uh, study with you and uh, look forward to seeing you soon.